Woo. Hey, Mark Shepard, Healing Pastures Farm and Apocalypse Gardens. Today is July, I think 29th. Anyway, <laughs> Woo. so uh, had my friend Dave do some clearing here so that we can see the river from up on the porch. That's the porch up there. And that's the river over there. And uh, the bank is pretty steep. And so we don't want to clear too much stuff here. We want the trees, we want the shrubs and stuff to hold the soil. But we also want to see the river because first of all, it's one of the best parts of this property. It's uplifting. And I have a wonderful bench on the back porch so that I can sit outside on an evening and watch the sunset. And uh, often we have great blue herons flying up and down the river. So today's post has a message. And the message is that everything happens in its time. Everything happens when it's supposed to happen. And as I look back on my life and I think through all the different businesses, all the different things that I attempted to do in order to raise money so I could do my music, so that I could pay Gene Moore or Joe Monona to help me record my music, that, that has been a 45 year long struggle. And it seemed like I was failing a lot. I, I had a title insurance agency that almost killed me. Uh, I tried pra uh, trading futures commodities uh, I ended up losing everything in the late 1980s, early 1990s. So I know economic hardship. And then I got into doing school programs as a storyteller and songwriter and uh, drummer, Drum Song Story. You can check that out at drumsongstory.com if you're interested. And over the years, that that wore me out and beat me up as well. And so I began to realize that I had to work with my own neurology and I had to let go of things that intellectually sounded good, but after I tried them, just weren't really right for me. So this is a lifelong process. And now as I'm approaching my 60th birthday in November, it's really clear that this, th these three areas of music, land stewardship and self-improvement, uh, getting healthier, working on relationships, all that personal stuff that, uh, you know, that is so important. It all comes together for me in this idea of regenerative ranching, regenerative agriculture, uh, creating the kind of um, business and community that is sustainable for the next 40 years of my life. People in my family tend to live, uh, my grandmother lived past 100, my dad's 93 and still going strong. So I wanna live each day as if I could die tomorrow, but I also wanna live each day as if I might live for a very long time. Does that make sense? So I beg you to be patient. I beg you to see whatever's going on in your life, whatever seems like a failure, to just raise the question in yourself, why does this actually serve me at some point down the road? And everything that I've learned after trying to trade futures commodities, I finally ended up being a storyteller and, and making a living as a musician, doing kids programs, not what I started out to do, but I had kids. That was unexpected and what a gift. In fact, my son, my oldest son is coming to visit tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited that he chose me to be his father before coming into this world. And I'm so glad that I did it when I was only 24 years old so that I can really enjoy his friendship now and the friendship of, of all my children. I have three kids. And <clears throat> so today I'm starting out the day. I've got Josh coming in a little bit to work on the, uh, <clears throat> the greenhouse off the front of the garage. See if I can point to it here. Oh, that way, everything's everything's mirror right there. <laughs> That's the garage. And uh, <clears throat> my friend Dave did a bunch of clearing down here yesterday after the chainsaws all broke. He was helping uh, cut up a bunch of the logs uh, that were were putting firewood aside for this coming year and future years, and also clearing my first paddock. This is going to be where I start with goats or pigs next year. Um, I might start with goats 
even sooner because they can eat all of this brush. So I don't have to use the brush mower, which is behind me, uh, to keep that under control. And every tree that grows is actually forage for a goat and, and possibly even sheep, but goats definitely. And uh, behind me, what I'm, what I'm working on now is, let's see if I can find this. Um, this log here is kind of in the way, this old one here. I'm using this one as a fulcrum. Jeez, this is hard. Where is it? The, there we go. That's a fulcrum. That's an old log that's just been sitting in the dirt. And I'm going to move that log down the hill and let these old stumps hold it in place so that I can gradually build up a little bit uh, less of a steep slope here. Anyway, that's what I'm working on today. Peace, grooviness, over and out. Remember, everything that happens we all go through suffering we all struggle with things we all set out to do something we go on journeys and they don't turn out the way we think they should turn out but they usually turn out the way they're supposed to turn out and every setback every challenge offers an opportunity and as the course in miracles says you do not know what is in your best interest we don't have the big picture we only have this on the ground picture and we can only do the best we can making lemon aid out of lemons, making lemonade out of lemons, or making lemon meringue pie out of lemons, or making poppy lemon poppy seed cake out of lemons, or <laughs> putting the lemons in the compost, or whatever it is that, that is happening, there is a purpose and a plan if you allow it. If you take the mindset that you're not a victim that you're a victor. You're not a victim, you're a volunteer. As a friend of mine, an old songwriter friend of mine, had a song called, You're Not a Victim, You Are Just a Volunteer. Anyway, let's volunteer today to have an amazing day. All the best to you. Peace, grooviness, over and out. Boom! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I believe it's not too late. Together we can change the world. Lay the puzzle pieces out. Find out what it's all about. Together we can change the world. Can't do it by myself. Together we could change the world Sail past where it's been charted Roll your sleeves up and let's get started Together we could change the world Together we can change the world With our hands and with our hearts We can dare to make a start Together we can change the world What if we spoke with one voice Knowing that we have a choice Together we can change the world Can't do it by myself So I'm asking for your help Together we can change the world Together we could change the world Together we can change the world Then we 
we start to realize Together, Together we, can we can change the world Can't do it by myself So I'm asking for your help Together we could change the world Sail past where it's been charted Roll your sleeves up, let's get started Together we could change the world Can't do